Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. Today we are going to do a full face of black owned beauty brand. Does that make sense? So all of the makeup that I'm gonna be using is gonna be from black owned beauty brands and I'm super excited to do this video. I think it was long overdue, especially with everything that is going on. I love to show support in any way that I can. I'm also going to be donating all AdSense from this video to the cause. I'll go ahead and leave resources down in the description box as well as organizations that I've donated to as well. So before we go ahead and get started, first make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the little notification bell. That just ensures you don't miss out on any of my newest videos. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So some of the brands that I'm gonna be talking about today, you might have heard before, some that you might have not. These are also products that I have currently existing in my collection. I also wanna place an order on some of the other black owned beauty brands that are out there that I haven't tried anything from yet. Some of the brands that I'm gonna be talking about today are Briogeo, you guys have probably heard of them. They are a great hair company and I actually was an ambassador for them last year and part of this year and I love their hair care and so many people don't know that they're black owned. This brand also was talked about a lot on Instagram but we have some stuff from Mented Cosmetics. They actually sent me stuff a couple weeks ago but I have not yet had the chance to try out everything. I also have some stuff from Fenty Beauty, some products from Pat McGrath. We have some goodies from Beauty Bakery, some stuff from Ace Beauty. So let's go ahead and dive into the makeup. Starting off, I'm gonna be using the Mented Cosmetics High Brow Precision Pencil in the shade Brow Down. I'm also filming this video in 60 frames per second. Let me know if you guys notice a difference and if you like it better. I'm gonna go ahead and breeze through my brows. Okay, I actually really like this brow pencil. I feel like it was super pigmented, but really easy to work with. So next we're gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadows. I actually have this Pat McGrath Labs palette. I don't remember what the name of this is, but I'll go ahead and link it down in the description box. And I also have these shades from Ace Beauty as well. So I think I wanna do kind of like a gold situation, but since this is all shimmers, I think I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty bronzer as my crease shade and this is in the color Island Ting. I really like this bronzer but I think it is like a shade too deep for me but it makes for a really great crease color for my eyes. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Beauty Bakery flower powder to kind of set my eyelids. I also have a makeup tutorial on my channel made just for beginners. So if you're curious for a more like in-depth tutorial on how I blend out my makeup and some of the tips I have, I definitely recommend checking out that video. Okay, now going to the Pat McGrath palette. I'm gonna pick up this gold color and place it in the first half of my lid. And then I'm gonna take a smaller pencil brush and then I'm gonna pick up this dark brown color and place it in the outer third of my eye. I'm gonna bring it into the center. I'm actually gonna grab the same brush and with my fingers pinch it and I will tap that along my lash line just to kind of darken it up a little bit. You can use a um, angled brush as well, but I don't have that with me currently. Next, we're just gonna do the mascara. I have the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. This is such a good mascara. It makes my lashes look so volumized and thick. The only thing about this mascara is it does weigh my lashes down a little bit. So I normally have to go in with a waterproof mascara before. Since I'm gonna be applying false lashes, it's not a big deal. <laughs> 
So I'm super happy with how the eyes look. Next, I'm gonna quickly pop on some lashes. I don't have lashes from a black owned beauty brand, but like I said, I wanna order lots of new things from some black owned beauty brands I just discovered. I'll go ahead and leave down below in the description box some of the brands I'm interested in and where I wanna shop from next. And if you guys have any more recommendations or suggestions from brands that you really like that are black owned, let me know down in the comments. But these lashes are lacy lashes in the style Taurus, and I'm just gonna throw these on really quick. Okay, so those lashes are super pretty. They're a lot more natural than I thought. I probably would have reached for a more dramatic lash, but I think it's still pretty. Next, we're gonna do face makeup, which is my favorite. So I'm gonna be using my Pat McGrath foundation, and this is one of my favorite foundations of all time. I compared this to the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, so if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll go ahead and link it up above, but I have it in the shade light medium 13 and it does oxidize a little bit so when it does it actually matches me perfectly beauty bakery also has little sponges and these sponges are actually really great i forget how much it is but it comes in a pack of six and these sponges are better than the beauty blender don't tell them i said that i really really like these sponges so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation really quick Okay, so that is after a really light layer and I love the effect that that has on my skin. Pat McGrath, I love and respect her brand so much. Honestly, everything is expensive, but the quality that you're getting, plus the packaging, I think it's so worth it. So I'm just gonna throw on a second layer. And then I did drag out my eyeshadow pretty far and for a good reason, so I'm actually gonna now take my sponge and just lightly drag and kind of clean up the eyeshadow. I also pulled my hair back because I feel like I'm about to get makeup all over it. Next for concealer, I'm gonna be using these Beauty Bakery Concealer. I actually really, really enjoy these. I have them in the shade 11 Sunday and 12 Jamsterdam. I think Beauty Bakery is a great brand. Honestly, the only reason why I haven't talked about Beauty Bakery on my channel was I previously worked with them and I had a horrible experience working with them. They just like never paid me in full, which is weird. And it's not a big deal, but it was just like really kind of like weird and unprofessional to me. Me personally, I don't like talking about brands or products that I don't truly like love and support, but I'm willing to put aside that bad experience with them to share because I do think that they are a really great brand and I really like the products that they have. And I think I'm gonna use the shade 11 Sunday because I am a little bit pale right now. I'm gonna use this in the same areas that I normally highlight. It comes in a really nice doe foot applicator. It reminds me a lot of the applicator on the Beauty Blender. It's not like flat on one side or anything like that. It's just kind of like a little pyramid situation. I also think this is a really great concealer. It covers a lot, blends out really easily, and photographs really well. Like, look at that coverage. It literally makes my under eyes look flawless. It does dry down kind of quick, so you do have to work with it like right away. Okay, next step is something that I always do, but I'm taking the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush and I'm just using this to buff out my concealer anywhere where we didn't blend it out fully and in smaller spaces where my sponge doesn't usually reach. This is a step that I always do just because it allows the concealer to really sink into my skin and it just makes my skin look really flawless. So this is what the base looks like. I haven't even set it or anything and I just feel like the finish is perfect. That concealer just sets and makes my skin look so good and it's really full coverage, but it doesn't look cakey. So I am a really big fan. My shadow is a little bit patchy. That might be user error because I honestly am not the best at eyeshadow, but I also think that using shimmer shades in the crease usually just don't blend out quite as nice so that Pat McGrath shadow was giving me a little bit of issue, but let's just disregard, okay? I don't have any other cream products that I'm gonna use, so I'm actually gonna set my face using this Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. This powder does contain talc. I've been trying to lean more towards clean beauty and using powders that don't contain talc, but I do think that this is a really good powder. Okay, then picking up that same Fenty Beauty bronzer that we use for our eyeshadow, and I'm just gonna use this to bronze up my face. Okay, 
and that color is actually so pretty. Next, we're gonna try out some stuff from Mented Cosmetics. I've seen them all over Instagram, so I'm super excited to try out their product. This blush is in the shade Pinky Promise, so I'm just gonna put that where I normally apply blush. I actually don't know how pigmented this is. Ooh, yes. <laughs> I'm so happy with that color payoff. I feel like this color translated to a really pretty flush on my skin and I brought it across my nose like I normally do. Blend it out easily, super pigmented, so I'm really happy with that. And packaging is also just so sleek. Next, we're gonna apply our lip products. I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath Labs Lip Pencil in the color Supernatural. You already know I love this lip liner. Definitely worth the money. And then I also have Mented Cosmetics Lipstick Pretty in Pink. This might be too pink for this look, so we'll see. And then I also have the Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Pink About Me. Okay, so the lips are a little bit pinkier than I would like, but I still think it looks pretty. I also wanted to use these Ace Beauty Glimmer Shadows. This one is in the shade Huckleberry. I think it's really pretty, but I don't think it really fits this look. This one is in the shade Ice Latte, and I think it's super pretty. It's kind of like a gold with some silver flecks. So I am gonna pick this up with my pinky and kind of pat this onto the center of my lid and see if it really adds anything. Oh wow, that is so pretty, do you see that? So I think that is even a little bit more shimmery than the Pat McGrath. So I think that is nice actually all over the lid. It just helps to intensify just a little bit more. And then I'm actually gonna put that onto my lower lash line as well. The dark brown from the Pat McGrath palette with the same brush from earlier and same pinching situation. And I'm gonna pat that onto the outer third of my lower lash line. Then I decided to take some of that Pat McGrath mascara and brush it onto my lower lash line as well. And then I'm actually gonna take some of this minted brow pencil and do a couple of faux freckles. Wow, this pencil is actually perfect for this. And then setting my whole face with the Beauty Bakery Sweet Grace baking spray. I do like that this comes in an aerosol spray. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, okay. You need to hold it like far back. Okay, so that is makeup all finished. I'm gonna do my hair really quick. First off, we need to talk about Briogeo. Love their products and I think they're so underrated. They're clean at Sephora and I just, I love them as a company and I've never tried any of their products that I don't like. Their shampoo and conditioners are amazing. Their whole scalp revival line are like my holy grails. I will always continue repurchasing them. I also have this Briogeo Be Well Tea Tree and Eucalyptus Clean Deodorant and I think this is so underrated. No one ever talks about this, but this is a really great clean deodorant that is talc free and especially if you like clean deodorants this one is a really good one it smells really great it keeps me pretty dry throughout the day then we have the briogeo scalp revival charcoal and biotin dry shampoo i actually love this and it's perfect for traveling with it actually comes in a little squeezy tube so when you want to disperse some of it you kind of just squeeze it so this makes it really great for traveling you don't have to worry about it bursting or exploding or anything like that and then i also really enjoy the briogeo farewell frizz blow dry perfection and heat protectant cream so you can use this when your hair is damp or dry and it's really great if you want to blow dry your hair or do any type of heat styling I actually use this kind of like a moisture cream so on days like this where my hair is perfectly dry but I find that it's just a little bit frizzy I like to add a little bit just to the ends of my hair and it adds a little bit of moisture and helps to lock it in so that is it this is today's makeup look and I'm obsessed with the way that it looks I went to the bathroom earlier and I was like in the mirror and I was like dang my skin looks Flawless. I also love the way that the eyes look. Those shimmer shadows from Ace Beauty added a little bit more oomph to the eyes. Mented Cosmetics, I definitely want to try out a couple more things from their line because that blush is just so pretty on my skin. That is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll go ahead and link everything down in the description box like I always do, as well as some other black owned beauty brands that I want to support that I think you guys should support as well, especially now during this time. It's so important to put our money where our mouth is. And if we want to support Black Lives Matter, I also think it's super Super important to support black owned businesses especially if they are things that you're already going to buy because I think these brands have beautiful products and they could always use a little bit of extra support as well so I highly recommend during this time to continue educating yourself on everything that is going on continue to donate have those conversations with your friends and your family whenever you hear something that you don't agree with or you hear someone that you love say something that is racist maybe just take the time to have that conversation with them this hoodie is also from cold laundry and if you guys have haven't heard of them. They are a black owned 
clothing company. They're kind of like a cool street style brand. Brandon had actually heard of them a while ago, so I was super excited to get some things from them. I am planning on doing a black owned clothing haul soon, so stay tuned for that. I did order some new lingerie, some loungewear, bras, and I am super excited to share with you all. Wear a mask, wash your hands, Remember everything that's going on in the world. That is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.